In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an amazing ad creative that actually converts and drives sales on your website. If you wanna learn more about how to do this, keep watching. If you are a marketer or business owner whose ads are just not generating sales, I can almost guarantee you it has to do with your ad creative. Typically, these aren't that well done because people don't know the strategic formula behind it. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that formula is step by step. So step number one is to come up with your ad creative and to be completely honest with you, this is where most people go wrong and this is why your ads aren't converting if you're having that problem. And so let me explain to you why. When you are scrolling as a user on Facebook or Instagram, typically you're wanting to see things that you're interested in and it's not necessarily an ad. And so ads really need to pull it together and really grab attention in those first one to three seconds that they have. Now, luckily there is a specific strategy that you can use that's gonna help you with this. I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. Now in the first one to three seconds, you have to be able to communicate what the product is, what it does and who it's for. And you can do this through a few different methods. You can use it through the image creative you're using, you can do it through video, and you can also do it through words as well. Now the next piece of your ad creative needs to entertain, educate, and inspire. So ideally it wants to do all three things, but you can get away with just doing one, but I don't recommend it. So let's go through education first. Your ad should teach somebody something new. They should be able to get value in some way, shape, or form through watching your ad. Number two is to entertain your audience. So there are a variety of ways to do this. You can be funny, but if that's not your thing, what you can do is you can switch up the ad creative every one to three seconds and the visual changes actually keep people engaged on the ad and they can entertain people as well. So you can also add music to add into this. Another method that's commonly used is to actually tell a story um, and be able to connect to people that way as well. And number three is creating some sort of inspirational emotion within somebody. So this can be done through something surprising, something shocking, something um, amazing that is not very common. And so you can do this through highlighting social impact. You can do it through creating life or showcasing life-changing events. And you can also do this through transformation as well. Um, your videos and your image creatives can also help add to this element. And finally, the third piece of your ad needs to be able to magnify the benefits. It needs to minimize the time or the work required to get there. And it also needs to minimize any perceived sacrifices. So usually this comes in the form of either like time or price. So you really wanna be able to minimize those elements within your ad creative, but you wanna magnify the value and the benefits that they're getting. So when I actually go set up an ad campaign, I actually script out the ads and I either send them to a content creator to go create, or I do the voiceover myself, or I go and find stock footage, whatever makes sense. And I actually reverse engineer it based on the script on what ad creatives would make sense at that point in the video. Um, as a side note, I highly recommend you do create videos just because it's easier to incorporate all these different elements and it can actually elevate people's engagement with your ad, which also helps um, boost the performance and lower your costs, especially on Facebook. Something else that you wanna make sure that your ad creative has is it should have captions in it somewhere. You can use a lot of free software tools to help you with this. Um, you can manually type them in using a video editor. Um, ideally, your ad creative should be no longer than I would say 30 seconds, but definitely no longer than 45. And once all of that's set up, now you wanna create your copy. So once again, I set up all of this stuff before I even look at Facebook or Instagram or whatever software I'm using to run my ads. And the reason why is because once you have all these different elements built out, then it's really fast to just go and plug into the software and then publish them. When it comes to creating the headline for your ad, what you wanna do is use your most compelling result or you want to put in your offer directly. So if it's like 10% off or, or um, let's say like, do you want a sparkling clean home or something along those lines, that's what you want to plug into your headline. Then for the actual body copy, what you want to do is you want to start with a really simple hook. So this could be like, do you want, and then insert whatever desired outcome you're offering. And then in the for the rest of the copy, what you wanna do is you wanna highlight all the benefits and the features that they're gonna get. So typically you wanna tie a benefit with a feature. People typically will buy based on their emotions and the feeling or the result that they're gonna get from the offer. So if you're just listing out like, 
all the tech features, for example, um, that's typically not going to be what sells them on the product. What you want to do instead is you want to say like, oh my gosh, you're going to take these amazing photos. People are going to think you're a professional photographer. And then you can go into the features after you make the benefit statement. And another thing that you can do to make your copy a little bit more readable is you can also split it up with emojis as well. Then for your call to action, what you want to do is either link it directly back to the website itself. So I know that there's usually a learn more or buy now button, but you can actually add your website into the body copy as well, um, which is something that I like to do. And then once again, you just want to reinforce the call to action. So click the link below to shop now or whatever it is the call to action is for your particular ad. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you can access more videos just like this one.